Let's talk about auditing the legislature. State Auditor Diana DeZoglio, she says she has enough signatures, in fact, to move forward with the ballot initiative to audit the legislature. She had support from Democrats, Republicans, conservative, li conservatives, liberals. Why do Republicans support her in this? Uh, Frankly, the, the policy issue that she has championed is the right policy. Uh, she reached out to me, she called me in September to ask the state party to get on board. Um, after just a moment of hesitation, I agreed because it's the right policy issue. She reached out to you. She reached out to me. Yes, she reached out to me. Um, you know, I, there's a t I would say there's a time for politics and there's a time for policy, and she's right on the policy, uh, so we wanted to stand by her. You really think this yeah. is an issue both sides can? It's an issue that both sides can and should support. Unfortunately, uh, she has been stymied by the leadership on Beacon Hill, um, so Republicans really sought to, to fill that gap and, and work with her. So this is uh, not about so, yeah. sticking a finger in the eye of the Democratic leadership. It's on the, the right Hill. policy issue, it, it, you know, and, and so, it, so and we, and we truly worked with her. We used the party headquarters, a distri distribution site for our signatures, um, talked with her frequently um, on the phone of how it's going, what more we could be doing. We held grassroots training. So we were pleased to support her because it's the right uh, issue. So I want to ask you a question because Republicans have held the corner office, the governor's office, for a good chunk of the last 20 years. And it seems like no matter who's in there, Democrat or Republican, there's not a lot of transparency that comes out of that building in general. The legislature, the governor's office. So is it time to reform the state's open records law? I think we should definitely take a look at that. And I think the fact that the, the leaders on Beacon Hill are resisting this effort to audit so strongly, I think begs the question of, of why not be more transparent? You know, here in Massachusetts, we should be a leader in transparency, and it's not happening. Well, you know, they, they take issue with the constitutionality of it. They say one branch does not have the power to audit another branch. Uh, w what is your take on that? Argument? I think it's it's taxpayer dollars uh, is the bottom line and taxpayers should deserve accountability and transparency. All right. 2024 will be an historic election cycle. I think we know that the current state congressional delegation we also know is entirely Democrat. Does your party have any likely candidates to challenge incumbents out there? Yeah. So Working on the heels of the Peter Durant win in the state Senate race, we're working hard on candidate recruitment. We've been talking to candidates in some of the federal elections about running. So we're hopeful uh, coming into 2024, we'll have some strong candidates to announce, but we're, we're still working on that. There was a lot of smoke around maybe Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito challenging Senator Elizabeth Warren, who's up for re-election next year. Would you like to see that happen? She smiled. I right certainly now. was hoping that she would enter the race. I don't, unfortunately, I don't think it's going to happen. I think, I think she's enjoying a little time off right now, yeah. um, focusing on her family. Um, well, the election's and, still and a year business. away. Yeah, I, I know. Well, yeah, you could, uh, I'll, I'll be with you on that and talking to her. <laughs> Let me ask you, in Massachusetts, we sort of have this deep blue reputation, right? But, but ha are you having trouble identifying viable candidates who can run more in that moderate lane that we saw Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito and Charlie Baker? You know, the re running as a Republican in Massachusetts is difficult uh, because you have your party base, um, but then uh, once you move on from the primary, you have to appeal to the electorate, which is a much more moderate electorate. So it takes a certain kind of individual to kind of want to compete, not only in the Republican primary, but in the general election who, can, who is electable. So. Um, and you also need kind of just the right uh, year to run as well. So it's kind of all the stars have to align. Um, but again, as we talk today, looking into 2024, it's a great year for Republicans to, to run, and, and I think we'll get more of them. All right, our thanks again to State GOP Chair Amy Carnevale.